Hi, my name is Joe and I would like to talk to you about TIG welding. Before I get started, I would like to show you a few things that I wear for safety whenever I TIG weld. First thing is TIG gloves. These welding gloves are gauntlet style welding gloves. They are full leather, they have extra padding, they have protection past your wrist, but they still have good dexterity so you could use, use it to grab anything, filler wire, tools or anything that you may need while still, still wearing the gloves. Next thing I will show you will be my welding jacket. This is full leather style welding jacket. This jacket provides the most protection of any other jacket out there in the market. While when TIG welding you could use also other kinds of welding jackets either welding sleeves or anything, anything like that that you may find. Also, I would recommend for you to have hearing protection like earplugs. Earplugs will protect you from any debris or any sparks or any metal flying to get into your ear and potentially damage your eardrums. Next thing I will show you will be my welding helmet. This welding helmet is a Miller Digital Elite helmet. It is very adjustable on every every way possible. You could adjust your shading, your sensitivity and everything on this helmet. It is well worth the money. It is auto darkening also. As soon as you strike an arc, this helmet will dim. I will show you quickly how to set up this machine. This machine that I have here is a HTP221 Invertig AC-DC welder. It is a TIG welder and it is also an arc welder. And this specific machine has a lot of features on it, like pre-flow, post-flow, up-slope, down-slope, a lot of very good features on this machine. I will show you the different things to plug into this machine so you could get started on welding. First thing I will show you will be your foot pedal. Your foot pedal has a 7-pin plug. You find it on your machine, on the front of your machine. This one has a cover on it. You unscrew the cover, get your plug. It has a slot on it, so you can only connect it one way. You find your spot, push it in, and tighten it clockwise. Do not over tighten any of these plugs because they are sensitive and they will break. Once it is tightened, there you have it. Your foot pedal is connected. To take it off, Twist counterclockwise. Once it is completely off, you pull it out, put your cover back on so it'll protect it from any debris or anything happening to that plug, and that's it. There you have it. Put your foot pedal to the side, and I will next show you your ground clamp. This is the crown ground clamp, it's pretty heavy duty ground clamp. You connect this to your workpiece or your workbench that you have. The way you connect it, it has this pin which has a slot. You connect this one to the positive side. You find your slot, you push it in, turn it clockwise, and there you go. You have your connection on your ground clamp. To take it off, do the reverse. Turn it counterclockwise and take it off. Next, I will show you how to connect your torch. This is the connection to your torch. It's a plug similar to your ground wire, except it's a little bit bigger because I have a gas line going to it or coming out of it. First, I will connect your gas line to the front of your machine. This is the output going to the torch. Your connector Find the slot, push it in, and twist. Easy. This is your torch. Torch is composed of different things. You have your back cap, which is right here. This one happens to be a long back cap. You have very different back caps. This is a shorter style. There's actually even one shorter than this. You have your cup. You have, take off your cup by twisting it. This is your collet body. 
you take your collet body off you actually have your collet this is your collet this is what holds your tungsten and you have your tungsten this is what composes everything that composes your torch okay this is a 17 style tick torch they come in various sizes different sizes different styles they come a few of them are thicker than this one they have different lenses you could buy like this one this is a gas lens it has a mesh inside of it uh, it disperses a lot better the gas it has a lot better protection depending on what you're gonna weld you also have different sizes and different types of filler metal like I have here this filler metal is a 330 seconds aluminum filler metal this is a 1 16th this is used and this is a 330 seconds this is used these both of them are used for uh, steel they are used for chrome, chrome molly they can be used for chrome molly and for different just for different things they also have filter wire for stainless steel they have filter wire for magnesium and all kinds of different metals that you can weld with this is a very simple and easy thing to set up not a difficult thing to set up at all this machine had does have a lot of features so you have to learn them all in order to weld different metals with it and everything so it'll be better to go through the instructions get familiar with everything you have on the machine all the different features on it different kind of welding you could do always remember to have a fire extinguisher next to you so you could add a lot more protection to what you're doing just in case there's a fire some spark falls somewhere and catches anything on fire do not weld next to anything that's flammable, any cans that have flammable liquid, they could burst or something like that. Please weld in a well ventilated area. Um, that is all I can say about this. If you have any recommend recommendations for the video, any questions that you might have, please ask, ask them and I will try to answer them in the next video I make. Thank you for listening on. This is Joel. Goodbye.